Hello everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. Today is experiment day. I have two different resins, both made by Let's Resin, and I'm going to see which one makes a better bloom. So I'm going to be using this regular resin that's one-to-one, -one, and I'm putting it up against this Fast Cure resin that's still one-to-one, -one, but it's much thicker, and it cures in four hours. I'm going to be using the same white in both of them. It's the Let's Resin Ocean White, which I really, really love in the blooms. I'm also going to be using the Let's Resin Alcohol Inks in the yellow, red, and green. Everything that I use is always linked in the description along with all kinds of other stuff that I do in that description. So I have my cups and they are marked Fast Cure and One to One. And we're going to mix it up and I'm going to get a heat gun out and I am going to be waiting until both of them are at 100 degrees or 33 degrees Celsius, depending on where you're at in the world. And that's when we will pour the resin into the mold. So it's going to be a little bit of a waiting game and both they won't do it both at the same time, but because the fast cure will do it quicker, I am going to be uh, mixing the one-to-one -one normal resin first to give that a little bit of extra time. Then we've got these little cups that I will be holding back a little bit. We don't need that much for the white. So I have the white for each one. So the only difference in this entire experiment is the two resins. The one-to-one -one normal resin came out of the airless bubble machine with no bubbles, crystal clear in nine minutes, and it's about ready to go. It's already heated up, um, 37 degrees Celsius, which is 98 degrees Fahrenheit, 99 almost. So I'm going to dump a little bit of this in here for my white. Not a lot, don't need that much. And then I will go ahead and put the rest in here. And I will get my alcohol inks dropped into this one while we wait for the other one to get out of the bubble machine. Now that one is much thicker, so I don't expect all those bubbles to come out. I'm just going to quick give it a thing okay I will drop them exactly the same way so we can't have anything to blame except the resin hopefully they'll both come out perfect that's my plan but I don't know Because one of my other resins, I did this the other day, as you saw, and I ended up back coating the front because it didn't work. And I did the exact same process. All right, we're gonna let that sit while we wait for the other one to come out. I will get my white mixed up while I wait though. I'm just gonna do one drop first. We want it opaque, but we don't want it too dark because then it'll just end up sinking. And that one looks pretty good. Kind of can see if it's showing through on your stick. I might put just a barely, barely, barely anything on here. Like just that much more. Let me wipe this end. I think I'll just pour from the cup today so I don't have to get bags out. And this is pretty warm in here. I might have to pour this one while I wait for the other one.
about 98 degrees. All right, I'm just going to take and swirl my colors. Oh, something fell in there. I have no idea what that is. This is the fast cure and you can see there's still some bubbles in there after nine minutes because it is a much thicker resin. So I'm going to have to hopefully wait till those surface to get them sprayed out with alcohol. However, the temperature is not quite ready yet anyway, so we do have some time. Still have some time. I'm going to take some crushed glass, I think, on this set and put it right in the center this time instead of doing those little dots for the stamens we're going to do a little bit of crushed glass not too much and i'm going to go ahead and get my white in this one because it is at temperature while we wait for the other one i'm just gonna check and make sure yep it's at 98 degrees all right, so I'm just going to go in a circle. Try not to blob it in there or it's just gonna sink. And then we're gonna take our little tool and a paper towel and just create the petals. This looks almost overfilled. Don't overfill your coaster or it will be ruined. I think I'm going to do it like that this time. I'm not going to go the opposite way like I usually do. And I'm just going to take and swirl the center. So as it's been sitting here about five minutes, you can see a lot of the bubbles are gone. I've been spraying the top with alcohol, so most of them are gone. And let's check our temperature. It's at 97 degrees, which is 36 degrees. So I'm going to say let's get this one poured in. Save some for your white. And I'll be careful not to overfill this one like I did the other one. I'll just pour the rest in there. Spray the top alcohol and get some white mixed in here. This one I have about double the amount of resin, so I'm going to do two drops of the white. It's not about how many drops, it's kind of about what the white looks like. because you're never gonna get a drop. It's just gonna be squeezed out. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to just put my alcohol inks in the same way I did the other ones. those settle for a few minutes and then we'll stir them up. I'm 
drop some rocks down in not rocks, some glass. Try to get as center as you can. I don't want much in there, just a tiny little bit. You can use a piping bag if you want to, but I'm just for ease going to just do the same thing I did on the other one. Oh, this one's not quite as neat as the other one was. And then make our flower. And we shall see which one is which. I should say which one is the winner. Remember, this is the fast cure, that's the regular. Time to unmold them. We'll start with this one, which was the regular Let's Resin Resin. I did overspill. I knew I overfilled this one. And they're just still a little bit soft, so I can't even trim it. But that is the back. Let me move this one out of the way. And that one did not work. I am not happy with that one at all. So maybe I'll back coat this side and this will be our bloom. <laughs> because this side looks better, it just doesn't have a center. I'm wondering if we top coat this and put a little glitter, if that would fix this. Maybe we'll try that. But yeah, I'm not too happy with this one. Not happy at all. The white was way too heavy in here. Okay, that's that one. Let's hope this one is a little bit better. Hang on, I've got something stuck to my finger here. All right, oh boy. And this is, this is my go-to is the Fast Cure, so hopefully this one didn't disappoint. I mean, the back bloomed. But we don't want that as our top. Okay, this one did way better, other than that one spot. And I can live with that. Guys, I have to stick with a fast cure for the blooms. I just, I do. I mean, look at the difference. There, There's no comparison. The fast cure does it every time. I think I will put a back coat on, on this one and let's see what it looks like under a black background. I have a wonder if black would work. I think I'll back coat that one and I think I'm going to try to top coat this one after I can trim it and um, probably put black on the back of that one too. So I'll get the backs done first and then I'll do the tops and see if we can salvage this one. What do you think? Deal? Deal. I've mixed up some black resin and you guys know I had to put something in there. I mean I stand here in front of a wall full of glitters that I'm staring at. If you've ever seen my room, which if you want to see my room, there's a link in the description and you'll understand what I'm talking about. There is just glitter wall to wall. And you know I love glitter, so I had to put some black glitter in. So I'm just going to back both of these with the same glitter, since we're doing everything the same on these. And then we're going to mess with the fronts tomorrow being that it's 11 o'clock at night right now. And I'm not waiting until these cure to do the front. So I will do the fronts tomorrow. Not that 
for you guys, it's just a second from now. So I'm just going to get these all done and, and then we'll work on the other side. It's the next morning. I taped this up, but I didn't want to show you the front, but this is the back. And the reason I taped this, because I'm getting ready to top coat and there's a tiny little bubble. Well, you probably can't see it now, right here. So that left an opening on my edge. So when I put the top coat on, it would have seeped down. So I'm just stopping that seepage. But what do you think? And this one here. This one I'm just going to put little glass pieces instead of glitter. I was going to do glitter, but because it's going to move um, for the next hour or so, and I'm not going to be here to babysit it, I'm just going to put some glass pieces because they're much heavier. So let's just get these covered. Just a thin layer, nothing, nothing very thick. Should bring the shine back. My mold I use all the time, which is why it's dull. It's just time for a new mold, but being that I usually top coat them anyway, I'm not rushing to get another mold because the top coat just brings that shine right back. So as I put the glass in, I just realized it's not going to cover, so I can't use the glass. I'm going to just scoop it out somehow because it's sticking up over the, above the top. I don't know why I didn't think of that. It's sticking above the top coat, so I'm either going to leave it or try the glitter like I thought. I don't know which to do, but glass is not going to work. So I literally stuck one drip of glitter. I'm not sure you can see that. So I'm gonna throw these in the curing machine only because I want it to start curing immediately so that glitter doesn't move. They are all cured. It did move a little bit, but not that bad. I think it's still better. So we were able to save this one by back coating the good side and keeping the wrong side, but it was good enough to save. So I did. And that one, I don't know if the glitter takes away from it or if I should have just done black. I don't know, I always second guess my decisions, but I do like glitter, you all know that. All right guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope to see you all tomorrow. Have a great one, have a blessed day, bye-bye.